was the female, the famous TikToker? Who was it? I don't know. I like I said, I I can't find it. I couldn't find the video. I couldn't find the the link. I couldn't find the story. I couldn't find nothing. That's why I said allegedly because I I I I I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't find nothing on it. I I think this is a female. TikToker that these particular TikTokers don't like. I think this is a TikToker that they really don't like, and I think they really want to be petty with it. But being that they heard it secondhand, there's there's no truth to the story if she actually did it. So if you're gonna go out and slander somebody, you you gotta have proof. You know what I'm saying, since they don't have no proof, they can't throw out the name. And and yeah. They, What the, the job? Her job? Thing? I don't know. Her job must have. Her job must have really pissed her off in order for her to do this. Now this is this is speculating. I haven't actually found. So I honestly, I I I don't know per se of what happened because I I, I couldn't find the video or the story. They this the secondhand video that's talking about it. They they said it was a popular TikToker. Now what they about to talk about is some young lady that's a popular young lady that's on TikTok. For some reason she decided to leave her company, and the way she left her company was kind of unorthodox. But they, in their opinion, they feel that that was the wrong way into leaving. But who knows? Anything liable to happen to that young lady and, and, and why she did what she did. But let's, let's listen to the story of what they have to say. Hold no on. more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Hey, am I ready? So I got a story time for you guys this week. And unfortunately, this is a story that I heard third hand, second hand, second hand. Yeah, I heard it second hand. So this is a tip for all my professional drivers out there on how not to leave a trucking company because the way the way this this uh, female trucker left her trucking company is going to leave one heck of a mark on her DAC report. So this female trucker is uh, kind of well known on TikTok. And I don't want to say what her name is because Can I say it? Can I say it? Can I say her name? Can I say her name? No. We're gonna be good. We're not we're not we're not gonna be those people. Can I give a hint? Me and I really, really want to, but we probably shouldn't. Okay, so you're a truck driver, female truck driver, and you decide that you no longer want to be with this company. They they have pissed you off for the last time. I don't know why. It wasn't an, over anything major, but you know. Okay, so you decide you wanna leave. So what's the proper way to leave? The proper way to leave is to give the truck and trailer back in good condition and let the company know that you're quitting. You certainly don't quit after you've picked up a load of produce, frozen produce, in your reefer, drop off your truck and trailer, turn off the reefer so that now the, the frozen produce in the back of the trailer has now spoiled and gone bad. But then, then when the company goes to retrieve your truck and trailer, okay, hold on, I try not to gag when I say this. I mean, no offense, no offense, but I could see a male truck driver doing this. Like if they were really ticked off at the trucking company and it's not, I, I wouldn't condone this with a male trucker. But a female trucker decided to pour urine all over the inside of her truck, like on the seats and the floor as a way to get back and retaliate against this trucking company. Really? Really? And you don't think that's going to go on your yeah. report and follow you for the rest of your career? And it was $150,000 worth of spinach. Do the right thing. Even if the company did you wrong, just remember that shit can haunt you and follow you around in your DAC report. And it's really hard to fight anything that goes on your DAC report. And I'm not saying trucking companies don't treat us like shit on here, because they do. We know that. But, you know, don't lose your cool and do something stupid that's going to haunt you for the rest of your trucking career. Yeah, two wrongs don't make a right. Anyway, that's how not to leave a trucking company. Let's, let's touch on that for a minute. Now, I know of a lot of drivers that left their their companies for whatever reason a lot of us truckers we're, we're like this hey we we got our cdl our background is clean our mvr is clean our psp is clean do you really have to worry about what's on the dac report some say yes some say no i say 
I say, because I just recently did a, a podcast on the DAC report, I say the DAC report is 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 kind of garbage. But you do need to know what's on it, though. A lot of companies just fall off and put just about any and everything they want to put on the DAC report, whether it's true or false. Now, in a situation like this, they're going to probably put it on the DAC report don't know how they're going to put it on a DAC report. Rather, they're going to just say that she probably abandoned the truck somewhere in the, in, in the sentence is going to go like messed up the produce or something like that. And then they'll probably say something to the effect that she messed up the inside of the cab of the truck. But I heard drivers did that before. This this sounds like she was probably working for a controversial company, no name to be said. Obviously, she got pissed off to the top of activity and she decided to say, hey, I'm done. I'm tired. You guys just effed around with me once too many times here's my here's my contribution to just leaving and the icing on the top is just to go into the cab and just pour urine all over the all all over the truck now i heard male drivers do that all the time there was a, there was a male driver at us express before i left he did that the person to go to retrieve the truck said that he smelled urine everywhere there was urine bottles everywhere there was urine all over the bed urine in the seats everywhere to hear of a female to do that is something that's out of the ordinary but it does happen would it be on the DAC report maybe maybe not would it follow you on your DAC report maybe maybe not it depends on whether you abandon the truck if you abandon the truck then yes they are gonna put on the DAC report would that hinder you from getting another job probably because not too many places really pay attention to what's on the DAC report anyway because they know that trucking companies can be very petty and they can and they can just put any and everything on there so they they just have to take what's on there with a grain of salt anyway but if you're a prospective employer and you pull the record and you happen to see that then red flags and questions is going to pop in my head about like is this true did this really happen did you leave urine all over the truck did you intentionally turned the reefer off to waste over a hundred thousand dollars worth of product what do you think that have probably prompt her to to do that i i, I don't know but if, if it happened on a on a payday and her if if it happened on a payday and she didn't get her last statement or it, it, it's so many factors of what transpired between that low and and her and the company. I, I, I can't say, but that sounds like something that really didn't get her home, that probably, probably, or something on her, the lines of on her check. Who, who knows? It, it has to be. Why would a driver, male or female, would go to that extreme though? Oh, I talked to drivers that went to the extreme of just dropping off their truck, sabotaging their trucks oh, yeah. from various companies not just controversial company that we won't be naming but yeah they try to give the company a benefit of the doubt and they just keep getting effed over and effed over and effed over and then it's to the point like hey man look what is going on either you can't get me home you can't get my money right i, I can't get no loads i'm sitting it it's time for me to leave now that that i'm about to leave you just gonna make it a little bit worse for me. So instead of putting me in a route to go home or to bring the truck back so that I can go home, you just gonna keep with the fuckery. What am I the driver that is pissed off sitting in your truck to do? I got a load, I picked up a load of product. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the reefer and just drive this bad boy back to the, right, drive it back to the, to the yard and just leave it and then i'm just gonna go in here and leave you an outgoing surprise since you guys is surprising me without paying me my money 
Was it right? Mm. What was it right? Would you would have done something like that? Would nah, you? I wouldn't do nothing like that. Turn off that reefer? No, you got to be kidding. Turn off the reefer? That would ruin that whole load. They said the load was over a hundred thousand. Hold on, Ray. What they say? You know what I'm saying? There can't be no way. There ain't no way. A hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of product gone, and also an additional additional cleaning fees. So that hell, that that last settlement is gone. It, even if she's inspecting the last settlement, they they not gonna give her that. $150,000 worth of product and and a cleaning fee that's going to that's probably going to go through the roof because that's urine. Oh, they're going to have to they're going to have to get up in that bad boy with a hazmat team. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're going to that can't be no way. Ain't no female do that. Ain't no female did that for all her her nastiness all in that doggone I don't know. I I, I, I I don't know. I, I heard of drivers, most of them male, doing some stuff like that. Some defecated in the in the bed, left a nice little nice little surprise for the recovery driver. She, one of the recovery drivers that I talked to, she told me that one of the trucks that she picked up had blood everywhere, like blood on the bed, blood on the walls. There was defecation. I, I don't know if it was human. She said she said that the the person had a dog so they probably let the dog defecated in the in the truck or whatever but uh, but yeah she said she said the truck was in bad shape and she drove that motherfucker i told her i told her i was like no oh hell no <laughs> hell no ain't no amount of money she said they was paying her good and when she told them she called them up and told them what was up she said they came out of the pocket of some more money for her to bring it i was like and you drove she was like yeah i drove that motherfucker she said i put a mask on put on i had on jeans <laughs> t-shirts <laughs> gloves she drove that bad boy i said oh man no i i don't think i would have did that that would have been a no but and this was a guy that did that hearing this story about a woman doing that you really women do some crazy shit but you really gotta gotta have this woman to the highest of festivity to do that though and to go outside and turn off the reefer yeah any any driver could do that you know I'm, I'm pissed off let me just turn off the reefer but to come back in there not only turn off the reefer but to actually sit there pee in a bucket and destroy it all over the truck this woman gotta be like to the highest of festivity but before we get on up out of here let's talk about the young lady that told the story she heard it secondhand i tried to find the actual story so i i'm just gonna say allegedly right now and speculatory right now because she heard as she said she heard it secondhand and I guess we're hearing it third hand from her. So allegedly being that they don't want to out the young lady, but they did say she was a popular TikToker. So there there's plenty of popular I'm female. To out which one? Yeah, yeah, that they 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 didn't want to out her. I guess I could say that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because if you if you're gonna out her, you got to have the truth about it. So there's no there's no video i i looked all over youtube i looked all over TikTok. i looked all over instagram hell i even went in my groups and and asked anybody if they heard of anything like that they came with some crazy stories but they they said they didn't heard that so i i couldn't actually verify it so right now we just gonna say this is allegedly and i'm kind of glad that they wasn't petty enough to put the person out there without knowing if it's true or not because you can legal consequences i guess if you put it out there and if it's not true or not but but to hear the story it's intriguing because of the fact that i i talk to drivers that that have sabotaged trucks not to that extreme but i talked to drivers that have seen trucks that was that was crazy you know the video that started off this podcast show a young lady picking up a truck and it got all trash and Literally flies of flying on it. 
this this just, oh my god. This is from me. All trash. The, tr the truck is trash. Like, how how do these drivers live like that? This is a small, confined space. This got to be clean, man. That's why I. It's, it's a female truck driver on TikTok, a popular female truck uh, TikToker, and she got animals like birds, dogs, cats, all in her truck. But what catches me is the fact that she got birds, dogs, cats, all in. Well, I don't know if she got cats or not. I'm probably might be pushing it with the cats, but I know she got like two dogs and maybe about three or four birds in her in her truck. And I'm sitting there like, mm -hmm. I could just imagine how the aroma of that truck is i just can't one dog yes one bird yes but more than one dog and more than more birds yeah that's a how but hey no judgment here they, that, that's how you live that's how you live i wouldn't be like that what would be your advice to uh, to leave a company let them know let them know so we can advance and um don't don't clean it out and everything like that. I mean, not clean it out. Clean it out and take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures. That's your evidence. 